The right of every citizen is to register to vote during the 2023 elections. The right is guaranteed by the Constitution and cannot be disqualified by any potential qualified candidates. Every person who has satisfied the requirement laid by law is eligible to vote and be voted for. However, a voter will be able to exercise that right if he or she is in possession of a valid voter's card. I want to uh, vote for the person that I think can lead us in this country because we have been suffering from leadership all along. So this time we want to get somebody who can help us so that this country can come out of the mess we have found ourselves. That's why I'm trying to get my PVC so I can vote. I'm excited because it was easy. In fact, while I was even coming, I saw the queue. I thought it would be the same as when the procedure when I was registering it. But now I came, I wrote my name. Before you know it, they called, they gave me a tag, then asked me to enter the gate, and I'm here now. I've collected it already. With ease or our name on the voters' register, voters have the right to make their choices in secret. The voting exercise is an election situation in most developing countries, especially Africa, and it is sometimes visited with danger and bitter conflicts. A voter has the right to attend the campaign of political parties in order to receive information about the programs they want to implement if voted into office. Ideally, there are no rights without responsibilities which the citizens of a state are expected to be involved in to demonstrate their love, commitment, loyalty, patriotism and selflessness to the nation. Remember, for a free and fair election to take place, it is important that voters comply with all laws and regulations governing the electoral process so as to ensure peace and orderliness. So, a voter must conduct ease or herself before an election and encourage others to act in similar fashion. You welcome back. Preparing for the election. What are you to do before the election? Anyway, I won't talk too much. We have someone in the studio who scattered the dim for us. Scattered it very well. Last week, we had someone in the studio who is a man of timber and caliber. We call him man of Iroko and Obeche. The man indeed was a big man. But today, we have someone who is a small man. He has a small frame. But what he does not have in size of body, he has it in his brain. He has his brain, he's an intelligent man. Unfortunately for me, I don't know, by the time I start, I leave it, they will just make, make me to become a liar. Because by the time they start parrying, you will say, hey, eh? this man. So we have in the studio a very good friend, Barrister Jide Ologun. He is not a stranger here. He's someone who, when he starts talking now, we even have, t we have problems and difficulties in pulling him down. But all the same, Barrister Logo, you are welcome to the program this afternoon. Thank you very and much. Uh, I'm seeing you for the first year. <laughs> Happy New Year once yeah. more. Oh, that's true. Hey, you are ready for us. You are ready to go, Abby. Yeah. Flash your uh, voter's card. Let me see. Carry, oh, bowl yeah. it. Give it a bowl, please. Uh, producer, uh, direct, my, uh, give it a bowl. Him, him, him. him. Life, let, uh, let them see. He, his voter's card that indeed is serious yeah. for the action. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's it. So you are a good Nigerian. <laughs> so not that you are coming here to blow grammar nah. while you are not compliant. Nah. You are doing it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Flow. <laughs> You know, basically, if you look at Section 14 yes. of the Nigerian Constitution that now has amended, mm. it has put sovereignty in the hands of the citizens. And it's your right. It's a mandate you have a control over. Mm. And how do you exercise that if you're of age, 18 and above, is having access to voting? Mm. And how do you vote? You need a permanent voter's card that you must obtain and on election days go through your accreditation and 
vote. And after that, you will know that you have played your own role. And let me say it this way. If some people have been voted into office and they have betrayed the confidence of the citizens, they will be judged for it. Please, it's not, not the fault of he yes. who has gone out to vote. Uh. It is the pain of the one who cannot uphold the trust in fulfilling that social contract mm. expectations. So don't, I, I, I'm addressing those who will say their votes don't count. You mm -hmm. go out there and mm. vote first. Mm -hmm. Then leave them to their conscience and to God. Because, I mean, the world is not existing in isolation. God is still the principal controller of everything. Mm -hmm. So we are just saying, if you have your card, I go around with this. So it's not like I'll be looking for it on election day. And if you don't have it yet, INEC is still distributing mm -hmm. if you have registered, so do all you can. And a, a man came to me actually, and I must acknowledge his zeal. You know, his name is uh, Harry. He's been going around looking for because there may be problem on where you can get it. Even mm. went as far as or further in Ogun State, and mm. I kept encouraging him that please march it on until you get the PVC. I guess that Harry, Harry, I must see him because what he did is what I did before I got myself my PVC mm. in 1990, uh, 1998 or so. 1998, because I'm one of the first set who had this PVC, uh, this, this card, the permanent one. And of course, I had to go around struggle. So when I was saying something like that last week, some people thought maybe I'm just joking. Mm. But of course, I'm happy that there's somebody that you ran into. But before then, please. The accreditation, my brother was going there, the accreditation process is very, very simple. But before the accreditation, your rule, what you must do before the election day, this is the time. The idea, yeah, they are giving out the voter's card now, mm -hmm. ensure you go and get yours. If you don't get it where you registered, look in around the area. It's a wahala you must go through, it's a sacrifice you must go through to getting your PVC because everything, is dependent on you having your PVC. You know, last week I was telling you that uh, wisdom is the principal thing mm -hmm. in all you're getting. But for the purposes of this election, the PVC is the principal thing mm -hmm. in all you're getting. But that's not the issue now. With my intervention is to m take you around and through the accreditation process. You go to the election uh, place where you have gone with your PVC as my brother. You show the polling officer. The polling officer will look at your name. If he sees your name there, he gives it to the electoral officer. The electoral officer will mark you. They will put something on your thumb. And of course, the other person, the uh, assistant, will give you your ballot paper. Your ballot paper, you go to a cubicle. You vote. You thumb print whatever it is you want to do. Then you come back in the clear of the public, you drop your ballot paper uh, into the ballot box. If you want to watch what is happening, you stay a little bit away from the crowd and be watching. And if you feel that you are secure that nothing will happen to your vote, then you go home. But you can be sure that nothing will happen to your vote. Your vote will count. So all the cynics and naysayers that think that the vote will not count, remove that from your brain. The vote will count, particularly this time around. Are we together, sir? Absolutely. And I understand that when you are tom printing, yes. make sure you tom print inside the box yes. of the party you are voting for, yes. not to cross the lines. So and that, that you your ink, invalidate. your hand will not be too oil soiled exactly. with the ink so that it does not move to another line and it will become invalid. Exactly. And on invalid the means that the thing don't count to be that. Your vote will not count. You just wasted your time. And on the issue of waiting around mm -hmm. you can be sure that the prominent parties mm -hmm. we have their agents, agents around to monitor against any manipulation mm -hmm. so and we expect that uh, citizens will not be out to foment trouble that may be one of the reasons why some will not want to stay around and i think i can advise you on that if you look at the statistics of those who have been victims of violence at the elections the politicians I doubt if they have their children on the list. Mm -hmm. So those who go out there and die mm -hmm. for politicians are not even known to the politicians. Mm -hmm. So, and like someone said, 
you know, when they want to go and collect their return certificate mm. from INEC, mm. they go with their wives and children, <laughs> not with their talks. <laughs> so you need to not look at all this. So <laughs> what we are saying is that come and cast your vote. And if you choose to act as a talk to a politician, we wish you the best. But you may also be disappointed that when they get to office, mm. they ride around in tinted glasses, you don't have access to them, you know, so until they come back around to for solicit vote, your for vote. Vote. So again. let there be peace. Play your own role decently and... Your role, talking about mm. the role, is there any role given to the voter or envisaged by, uh, by the Constitution to the voter in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? Absolutely. Please, can you I run us through? I have mentioned the one in Section 14. Yes. That sovereignty belongs to the citizens. Yes. So if you are 18 and above, we are looking you at are the expected. Duty. Mm. And having said that, mm. you owe yourself a duty to mm -hmm. understand mm -hmm. who you are voting for mm -hmm. in terms of the candidates. Mm -hmm. What are the expectations? Mm -hmm. And I'm suggesting today that our audience should please spare some data mm -hmm. to read mm from section 14 to section 18 mm. of the Nigerian Constitution 1999 as amended. Mm. And you will see the list of the expectations. Mm. For example, <coughs> one of the expectations is that the resources of this country should be harnessed in For a way betterment. that we have a self-reliant economy, mm. that wealth is not concentrated in hands of a few, mm. that we have affordable housing, mm care for the old, mm. for the disabled, mm. and section 18 says that providing education for the citizens mm. is mandatory, mm. it's not negotiable. So mm -hmm. when you look at this, you now profile the candidates. Can, we, can, Who are can, you, those? can you remind us about section 15, about the social economic rights? Yeah, I just mentioned so. Okay. In fact, you'll be amazed that it stated there that the state should provide the citizens maximum happiness. Yes. Oh. They're all there, you know? so. And when you know what And who is for, this state now? The government? The government. Good. And you are electing people to go and run the affairs the, of the nation. To, As we discussed in this studio, Nigeria has nothing less than 40 mineral resources. In fact, we just discovered one recently mm -hmm. that has been the source of prosperity for the likes of Australia and Netherlands in this country mm -hmm. that we have not even started Touching. that is even super mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. oil and gas mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so our case is a case of a blessed nation seeking for blessed leaders mm -hmm. you see if a blessed nation is managed by unblessed leaders mm -hmm. you find yourself in poverty you see in fact when you have an unblessed nation that has a blessed leader. The leader can turn things around. Yes. Check the case of Elisha. Yes. Elisha turns the bitter mm. water to, mm, to, to, you to know, cleanse water. water. So, and that is why leadership is important. Mm. And we have spoken about brilliant examples. I mean, nations can find themselves in trouble. Mm. When Obama was to become the president of America, mm. it was a crucial time, a Seriously. time of economic Doom recession. Papa. In fact, he admitted systemic failure. Mm. But he went in there restructured things and the economy bounced back. When Lee Kuan Yew took over mm. in Singapore, mm. when Singapore left Malaysia mm. in 1965, mm. it was a poor coastal region mm. with little resources. Mm. And in years, he translated it to one of the best places to live and to work in the world. Mm. And you look at uh, Sheikh Zaid of mm -hmm. the UAE, mm -hmm. he has translated a desert uh, that to one. an earthly paradise. That, that, so that's that's, 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 that's wonder. One yeah, of exactly. the, do we so call it the ninth wonder of the world? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you need to sit back and profile <laughs> mm. who am I voting for? Uh, I have done that. Uh, you know, in that section 14, uh, you speak about the unity of Nigeria. Yes. The motto of Nigeria says unity, unity and, and faith, faith, peace and, and progress. progress. So who can unite us? Mm. Who will not polarize us. us then who can engender the sense of patriotism because that is the rule of faith if you don't have faith in the project you won't support mm -hmm. it in rwanda mm. rwandan government made about is it 400 million dollars from tourism in 2018 and i did a study how do they manage the tourism potentials of rwanda in the region where the gorillas are, because mm. people come to watch gorillas, mm. the government partners with the community. So they share from the revenue of the, the tourism. Project. Mm. So they protect that business. Mm. 
that they is see the it thing. as their own. So, but we are in a country where some people will just rise up, go and be removing rail, uh, uh, train rail property. tracks, yeah. you know, fighting the government. You okay. need people. You see an American. Government will be our yes, own, not them. I am an American. <laughs> you know, I'll do anything for my country yes. because God bless that, that sense country. of faith. Yes. So we need a leader who can engender Instill. faith in the project Nigeria. You mm -hmm. see, and what is the role of peace? If I drop 50 million on this table, that, ah, by your guy, you know, you've done so well. Mm. Take this 50 million, go and invest it in any part of the country, mm -hmm. and I'm sh I, I, I will monitor it to be sure that this way I want you to go into farming, mm -hmm. whether mechanized or whatever. Mm -hmm. Before you start implementing that mandate, mm. you first provide the society. Yes. That's what we call. Uh, environmental scanning mm. in public relations. Mm -hmm. that do I take this to Nasarawa or to, or Gombe. to Gombe or to Yobe. where they are cutting off the heads of farmers mm -hmm. and things like that? Mm -hmm. And that is your economic mm -hmm. environment. Mm -hmm. When you talk about foreign direct investment, yes. an investor wants his investment secured. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you need peace in the land for prosperity because there are, there are different levels of prosperity. You must first create the local prosperity yes. that we attract the foreign prosperity. Mm. That is what they have done in the UAE. Mm. Look at what happened in Qatar. Mm. Qatar has made billions of dollars to fly with, and they will enjoy, they will leverage on that profile for a long time. Obviously. You know, so, in, in, I mean, Dubai is a state, not even a country. Mm. And if you are a big brand on this uh, earth, mm. and your business is not doing business yeah. in Dubai. You are not you think twice. So what they have done is to create the local wealth. So all this, all this you are saying now, as, uh, as a result of the conduct of the voter. Definitely. You profile who you want, you to, want vote to vote for. for. You know, that and mm. are you looking you look forward. At that candidate. I know we have said this uh, uh, for Some, years now, mm. I mean, right from 2018 or 2019, I mm -hmm. have been saying mm. that the Nigerian democracy is gravitating towards a season when party loyalty mm -hmm. may play a role but not critical mm -hmm. where you find somebody holding the card of party a and voting for party b mm -hmm. you see because we are getting there now exactly this election is coming we, we've seen it some it's governors are mm -hmm. already showing up yes mm -hmm. yes party they are not loyalty going to vote for their party may not be respected yes and i think we are making progress Great, big because, time progress like we say Majority of our leaders go abroad, either officially or oh, otherwise, official, yes. to go and invest or to go on vacation mm. or to go on seminars. Mm. And they see things there. Mm. I was watching a video recently of a governor in, in New York City, and people were harassing him that you are here walking yeah. on good roads, mm. that you have good roads. Mm. I mean, you need to get to New York City mm. and see things by yourself. Mm. So mm. When some of us travel out there, we mm. wonder mm. if you have leaders or dealers. Do they, it, it's not even compulsory they go. They, we all watch films and we all watch news. Hey, it's, it's good they go and it, it, experience. And, uh, experience. It. Uh, the, the, uh, going to experience yeah. and coming back without putting it here, it's a waste of taxpayers' money. That so let them stay. Are, that is what we let are them saying. stay in their houses. You uh, know, again, that is, there is a difference between eyesight yes. and insight. Yes. You know, my father worked in Lagos okay. with the white people, you know, the, this public work department, mm -hmm. PWUD. Mm -hmm. And when he came back to our hometown, the way he built his house mm. was like the way... Uh, uh, he's natural now. Ibu, Ibu, he has worked with... He has, we, he has, we had he has an rubbed body with the house, <laughs> cashews, yes. whoever, yes. food. Uh -huh. Beautiful thing. You know, in fact, the way he... In fact, there was a day my father called me and he said, Jire, what do you have in a house that you don't need to paint all the time and the color is there for people to admire. You mm -hmm. know, in my little brain, I was wondering, and his mother oh, oh, told me flowers. Mm -hmm. He loved flowers. Mm -hmm. So he saw things mm -hmm. and came to replicate it. But he was a standard six graduate, so to say, mm. and he valued education. And do you know my father ensured that everyone around him had access. I mean, he inspired education. people to be educated. And in fact, he had 10 children. You know, God bless uh, Mr. Christopher Logan. Ten children, you know. <laughs> he tried, and only one uh, did not go to the university by choice. So he laid, he saw things and laid the foundation. So we expect that when a leader goes to the UK, for example, mm -hmm. for medical care, mm -hmm. and he enjoys that medical care, that he brings, brings it, it home yeah. for the citizens to yes. enjoy. Mm -hmm. Yes. You see, 
And that is, even when the colonialists came, they brought these facilities to they us. They brought it to Why us. Why are we destroying our environment? And now going there. Why are we stealing our oil? Mm. Why don't we have refineries? In fact, it's a shame that this day and age, people still go on medical tourism outside Nigeria. I can explain that in public relations. That is what you call enculturation. You know, those communities have groomed and superimposed mm -hmm. their economic culture upon your own mm -hmm. to make you feel that theirs is superior mm -hmm. and you remain servants to them. So it's part of what leadership must deal with. You see, I, I watched a documentary on Sheikh Zaid, the founder of the modern UAE. Mm -hmm. When the UAE was to embark on the agriculture project, the Western world told them that it was not going to be possible. Mm -hmm. And Sheikh said to his people, it's our project. Mm. Let's experiment it. And they made a huge success out of it. That is leadership. Transformational Good. leadership. Good. Okay. Let's look at some. Let's yeah. also look we at reactions. Have, there's a complaint here. First of all, the person said he has been going to get his PVC for the past five days and is yet to get it. You will get it. <laughs> Keep on trying. Keep on trying. Another you one get says, it. Uh, I have been... Okay. Another one says, I have been to... Okay, I've been to INEC and uh, they they said they said my PVC is not available. But when they checked their system, it was confirmed that my PVC is ready. But yet they can't actually. I think the person is trying to say that like she went to get her PVC, but on getting there, they said the PVC is not available. But going through their system is confirmed that PVC that is, has been is a simple and thing. Ready. It's a simple thing. It's okay. not about being patient. You get it. Because INEC's role is to give you your PVC, not for them to hold it or to make it unavailable to you. But how, do, how will she get it? Because she's saying she will get it. It's there. They, can't find it. It, they will get it for her. It's, they run a system. If the system say, the system will say okay. where it is. Yes. The then system there is, will tell there is them. also an online approach. Uh -huh. The On system your phone, will always tell data, them. Uh -huh. You know, you you type in your name. H it will tell you where your HTTPS. Your age. HTTP or let me say voters dot INEC Nigeria okay. dot org. Okay. Then it will prompt you. You put in your name, your state, your registered and name, and date of birth. Yes. Okay. It will show you the location where you are. So try and find out, okay. but just ensure. And that is part of what we need to correct. Yes. And as we sit here and talk about those who are finding it difficult, mm. I think about two persons have told me. Their voters' cards were brought to their, to their houses. Oh, I mean, really? that is surprising, and I think that is the level we should be gravitating mm -hmm, towards mm -hmm. to simplify sure. processes mm. for the citizens. Mm -hmm. Governance is about making life meaningful for the citizens. Mm. You see, not difficult, but again, and there are those who just rise up and set up their pseudo government <laughs> mm -hmm. to frustrate people, people. but. Mm. On my own uh, side, I didn't have difficulties getting my PVC. Okay, is that right? Last uh, Le last suggestion, uh -huh. uh, last uh, uh, text message actually. This one says, all politicians are liars, both international. Let's come to reality. We are all humans. Humans are insearchable. I trust nobody. Um, my f vote doesn't count. I know one vote. This is very sad. No, you should not. No, 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 don't, no. Don't say that. Uh, you don't want to vote, then you, you, how will you be able to complain? Well, people you make must, a You must put your mouth where your money is. So part of it is that you must vote so that you'll be able to. We have gone, I've, gone, I've gone through this, uh, this stress before I got my PVC. I told you last week. And my brother here, our guest here, is telling us some people too have gone through it. So that's one of the things. Most rather, what the second leg of what he's saying is that you are not going to walk and you want to eat. Is it possible? <laughs> if you don't walk, you can't eat because by local palace they say no food for lazy man. So the second leg is that no better life for person with no vote. You know, you I, must I, vote. I, I can understand <laughs> his sentiment. You know, I mean, uh, we we had to go out at a time to talk to people against. Uh, voting a party mm. when you don't experience the expected you become weary yeah. but you don't give up that's what we are saying so mm -hmm. you start from the self out my own vote counts i'll vote, vote you know counts. so you have to start from there i explained it earlier if you have trusted someone and the person betrays your trust you are not the one with problem mm. it's the person that has problem, that's problem not i mean jesus trusted judas <laughs> made him his treasurer and Judas betrayed him. Mm. And Jesus returned to heaven. Mm. Judas is in hell. Mm. 
So, and I think politicians too are listening. You see, I mean, if people have entrusted you with their votes, serve them. Serve them. Do the right thing. Deliver goods to them. So, 